Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, I feel like I haven't caught up at all today. I still have so many emails. I'm so sorry, guys, but I promise I will get to them. It's just, there's a lot. Um, but ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. And I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He died on the cross for our sins. And he rose on the third day. Okay, guys. It is April 24th, 2023. Here's a message from Jesus. Ecclesiastes 4.13. Better a poor and wise youth than an old and foolish king who will be admonished no more. Job 38.8. Or who shut in the sea with doors when it burst forth and issued from the womb. 1 Timothy 4.9. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. Jeremiah 9.3. And like their bow, they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valiant for the truth on the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Revelation 10.6 And swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea and the things that are in it, that there should be delay no longer. Genesis 14.8 and the kingdom of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Admah, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Siddim. Ezekiel 41.3 Also he went inside and measured the doorpost two cubits and the entrance six cubits high and the width of the entrance seven cubits. Isaiah 29.5 Moreover, the multitude of your foes shall be like fine dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones like chaff, like chaff that passes away. Yes, it shall be an instant, suddenly. Here's the message. My child, the serpent will strike, and its venom is poisonous. It's going to poison the minds of my children. I cannot delay my coming any longer. I have already given you my hour, and my hour is final. My hour is here. The clock strikes and it's over. I have sent out several warnings. You aren't listening. You aren't heeding them. Oh, ye little faith, the world is going to get so dark. Not only physically, but spiritually. My hand is on the clock. Can you see the constellation? Are you awake yet? Do you see everything I have been telling you? Are you blinded by your own ignorance and selfish desires? Don't you know I have sent out my prophets, my dreamers, my visionaries for your sake? I wish for no one to perish, but perish you will where you stand. You are blinded by your wickedness and you can't see the truth. You are too busy attacking and scoffing at your neighbor to look within your own self for your pride and arrogance. Oh, the enemy has twisted my words and you allow the disingenuous speakers to prowl on you like a lion. Who else prowls around ready to devour you? Lucifer does. Children, please listen. Everything I have told you will come to pass. My people are tired and weary and ready to come home. I told you positions were changing, but do not trust the media. It is run by Lucifer and it will speak only the Luciferian agenda. Trumpets will sound. Spica is in position, ready to blow. Countdown begins. 43. What does that signify? How many days till my return? Are you anticipating my arrival? Do you see my patterns yet? Or are you misguided by your biblical teachings of men? I told you to come to me when you're weary. I told you I will give you rest. So why do you deny me? Why do you still mock my coming? Oh, you idiotic fools. I know who you truly worship. I know the true key to my kingdom. I have told you. Have you listened? Do you believe and trust in me yet? Do you know how many disasters are coming? The ravenous wolves in sheep clothing are deceiving you. They tell you I am not coming yet. They tell you you will have to suffer through my wrath. It's an idiom, a mockery to my existence. Did I not die for you so you may be saved? So why are you still following the law? Do you know every law must be completed if you are under the law? Do you want to be cursed by the law? Are you blinded by my truths? Get the speck out of your eye before you look at the speck in your neighbor's eye. Your pride will be the death of you. Where is your love? Where is your heart? I told you to love your neighbor, not mock at them. 
The whole world is about to change and you will wish you had come to repentance, but it will be too late. I told you how to have eternal life. I told you to love me and trust in me. I told you to believe in me with your heart and confess I am Lord and I will save you. But you aren't believing me. You are relying on the law and your own works to save you. Disasters will fall in Michigan, Kentucky, Idaho, Nebraska, and Maine. It's going to get bad, really bad. No more diesel, no more food trucks. Famine is going to increase tenfold. Wake up, children. It's all coming. More ice, lights in the sky, aurora lights all over, electrical adages, lightning strikes, and the moon at her feet. Fruits have been sorted. The end is near. Are you awake yet? I am your true king. I am your prince of peace. Abide in my commandments. Love your Lord God. Love thy neighbor. I love you and your, I am your rescuer, your, your redeemer, your Adonai, and I have spoken. 1 Corinthians 2.11 For what man knows the things of a man except the man of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. John 17.3 and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. First Peter 2, nine. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous, marvelous light. Leviticus, uh, I'm sorry, Matthew 19.5. And said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Leviticus 4, 3 through 8. If the anointed priest sins, bringing guilt on the people, then let him offer to the Lord for his sin, which he has sinned a young bull, without blemish as a sin offering. He shall bring the bull to the door of the tabernacle of meeting before the Lord lay his hand on the bull's head and kill the bull before the Lord. Then the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of meeting. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary. And the priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before the Lord, which is in the tabernacle of meeting. And he shall pour the remaining blood of the bull at the base of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. He shall take from it all the fat of the bull as a sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat which is on the entrails. Luke 9, 5. And whoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. 1 Samuel 4, 8. Woe to us who will deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods. These are the gods who struck the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Colossians 1, 5. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Deuteronomy 12, 8. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Philippians 1, 7. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, and as much as both in my chains and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Job 35, 3, for you say, what advantage will it be to you? What profit shall I have more than if I had sinned? Joshua 4, 11. Then it came to pass when all the people had completely crossed over that the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed over in the presence of the people. Okay, guys, that's what, that was the message. I'm not sure what all of it means, but I'm sure you biblical scholars out there will. <laughs> Um, but always ask Jesus for everything and confirmation. If you don't believe him, ask him to come into your life. Believe in him with all your heart. Confess he's the Lord, guys, and he will save you. Repentance is a change of mind. So change your mind and believe in him. Don't be like, you know, the Pharisees asking for signs over and over and over again. Just believe in him. What does he say? He said, um, those, those who believe without seeing are blessed or something like that. I don't know. So, okay. Guys, have a great night. God bless.